All right, I need to make a public video here. Uh, we're exposing a wicked um, con artist that has been around now for a few years. And um, this has been one of the most vexing things for me to find out. Um, it's just disgusting. I literally feel sick to my stomach about this. Um, this is, and I'm not joking. This is, this is, I'm going to read the email. He had written to me and I wrote back this brother. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give names here except for the one who's being condemned. Um, just, you know, they want to be private and stuff like this. Um, Brian McClurg, if you've seen the video title, this, he's a very, very, very wicked man. Um, he had written to me, this, this brother here, about Brian McClurg, and he wrote to me and he said, he explained some things, and I said, what, are you serious? And that's what he wrote back. Hello, Brian. Believe me, brother, it's true. I know it is true because for over a year I've been counseling him, counseling Brian McClurg, trying to get him to repent and stop his deceptive ways. And there are quite a few brothers and sisters who I've spoken with, and they've all told me uh, they've been ripped off by Brian McClurg. There's a brother, blank, that sent Brian money along with his grandmother's Bible with the intentions of having it rebound. Needless to say, blank, has not received his money back nor has he received his grandmother's Bible. Please know that I would not share blank's name if he did not okay at first. Several times he interceded with me to see if I could get his money uh, back, but most importantly, the Bible. His grandmother's Bible. That's all blank really cared about was the Bible. Several times Brian McClurg lied to us saying that he was going to return the Bible. It's in the mail. All the excuses that you could think of till one day I uh, seen he was still continuing to steal or attempt to steal from others. And that's when I said, I'm done with him. Um, basically what this Brian McClurg guy has been doing is he's been stealing King James Bibles. He does Bible reviews he did Bible reviews for church Bible publishers, local church Bible publishers, Trinitarian Bible societies. And what this guy does is he's, a, he's a, probably an atheist, I would say. Um, he's, he's a servant of hell. Um, and uh, what he does is he gets Bibles from people and then he sells them and makes money. I was warned about this scam years and years ago. Um, I had somebody try to scam me and uh, a sister in Christ at the time was aware of this whole thing and she said, Look at this, look at that. Yeah, he's trying to scam you. These people will actually get Christians to send them King James Bibles, and then they'll sell them on eBay or sell them wherever else. And if you look at Brian McClurg, you look at his early videos, look at him now, the guy looks like walking death. He looks like a heroin addict or probably a meth head or something like that. I think he's a drug addict, and he's trying to finance his drug uh, you know, condition, his addiction. He's trying to finance it by stealing Bibles from people. Heirloom Bibles from families, telling them, oh, I'll rebound, right, rebind it and stuff like this, and then going out and selling it for drugs. Can I prove he's on drugs? Well, from the look of him, yeah, he looks like he's on drugs. But you... I'm going to try to maintain my composure with this because this, is, this really, really infuriates me. I mean, I, I, know, I know very wicked people that would never even dream of doing this. Quite a few people came forward afterwards saying how Brian McClurg had stole from them as well. Many people saying that they just wanted their Bibles back. Another brother from the Philippines who took part in a free giveaway on his Facebook group page. Uh, again, needless to say, he never received the free Bible. That was one brother, and he is one of many. In other words, this guy got on Brian McClurg's uh, Facebook page and you know, trying to you know, get a free Bible. Never got one. He would do these Bible reviews to get free Bibles from the publishers, and he would say that he was giving them away for free as part of his ministry. Truth of the matter is, he was selling them on eBay under an assumed name. He actually got cases from uh, Trinitarian Bible Society donated to him. How? I don't know. He's a good liar. But he was selling them on, them on eBay, stating again that he was giving them away to help others in need. As I said, I counseled him with him quite a few times, and every time he told me he was going to make amends, he was going to pay the people back, either return their Bibles or make some kind of financial restitution for the Bibles that he could not get back to them, 
And then, of course, nothing ever got done because he's a lying con artist. He attempted to try to get back into the Bible rebinding business by telling people that he could do it cash on delivery. Uh, that way they can feel safe and not worry about money being taken. Quite a few, pe quite a few replied back to, to him saying that they wouldn't trust him again if their lives depended on it, let alone send him another Bible for him to keep. He found out he could no longer scam as a Bible believer, or as a Bible rebinder, excuse me. Soon after that, he started his own church, calling it Hastings Bible Church, and he was going to be the pastor. But, uh, but I believe that fell by the wayside too. Just another scam. This man is a jack of all trades. I mean, he can't hold a job for more than two months. He's done everything from working at a restaurant to car sales to Bible sales, now a pastor. Quote, unquote, pastor. You know. But I believe that fell by the, the wayside too. Oh, I'm sorry, I went up there. Um, and then even when I was counseling him here, he is telling me how he is this King James Bible-believing Christian, um, but yet was so excited while working at one of the restaurants, he met the heavy metal group Quiet Riot, and they gave him autographs and how excited he was to get them. Huh? That's pretty bad. Secular you know, band comes in and you're all excited to get their autographs. Not the mark of a Christian. It was then that I knew he wasn't a King James Bible-believing Christian. Uh, he was just a liar and a fraud. I confronted him on this and he just lied. And this whole movement to the new versions, I think it's just another scam. Brian McClurg was a big shake-up. Oh, he saw this video of James White attacking me. You know, so that shook his faith and everything else. No, he just can't rip off uh, King James Bible-believing Christians anymore. So now he's going to go to the new versions and try to get Bibles from them, I guess. Um, see, before, brother, he was getting free Bibles from all those publishers so that he would do Bible reviews on YouTube. Basically, they give him a Bible... He gives them a good review. Then he'd take those free Bibles and sell them on eBay. He got online a few months back stating that he is no longer supporting local church Bible publishers and going with church Bible publishers due to the move that Dennis and Rob Denell had made when they left local church Bible publishers. It was true that local church Bible publishers after Dennis and Rob left, uh, the quality of Bibles dropped. But that's besides the point. Uh, my point is he jumped on church Bible publishers the minute they made that move and he supported them, and they gave him Bibles like no other. But through time, church Bible publishers quit sending him Bibles. That was a big chunk of out of his income. I think at this point is when he decided to do Bible reviews on the new versions uh, to tap into a new source. Yeah, I agree with that. I truly feel, feel this man is just a flat-out con man. All the rest has been nothing but a scam. He loves to drop names he was good friends with. Um, Dr. Ruckman, matter of fact, he had lunch many a time with Dr. Ruckman. I highly doubt that. He was good friends with you for a little while. He was never good friends with me. I recommended his channel because I was deceived by him. Okay, but we, we've never been friends. Um, good friends with Robert Breaker. Who knows who else? Like I said, brother, there certainly is so much more, but it would take two or three more pages of text. I can assure you, though, what I told you is all true. It's just not. It's not just hearsay um, coming from one or two people or myself, for that matter. He has attacked me, you, and others. Has attacked me, you, and others. I can't believe he had the audacity to reach out to me again and say he was going to pray that I leave the cultic King James only movement. I have always given him grace for giving him, uh, trying, for giving him, try counseling him. All he did was use me. And I think his latest reach out to me is just another way of trying to use me for something else he has concocted in his head. I hope this helps, brother. Having a hard time texting today. His brother's pains in, in uh, or his hands in pain. So I won't read the rest of it there. Um, but he says, you know, if there's any other questions, please feel free because this man needs to be stopped. Um, Brian McClurg is a satanic devil. Um, you know... All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Um, I'm aware of that. Um, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But I'll tell you what, when you get to this level of wickedness, where you're actually stealing people's family Bibles and selling them on eBay, 
and stealing Bibles from Bible-believing ministries that publish them to sell them on eBay, um, you, you deserve the fires of hell. Um, the Bible says about, you know, whose damnation is just. Brian McClure, your damnation is just. You lied to me. You lied to a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ out there. And I rebuke you publicly and openly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, if you don't stop, I pray God drops you dead for what you're doing. You are a disgusting individual. It makes me absolutely sick to think of stealing the Word of God from people. They're family Bibles. How could you do a thing like that? So, please, if you're out there and you don't know what, what, what to think about Brian McClurg and things like this, and, and I've seen some brethren discussing that back and forth, what do you think about this Brian McClurg thing and stuff? Um, he's a con man. He's a con artist. He's been lying to people. Right there's the proof. A brother that knows him and has been back and forth with him. It's just disgusting. Please do not give any support to Brian McClurg. Um, he's not a Bible believer. He's never been a Bible believer. Um, he's a total fraud. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.